Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge. We're going to discuss some Arsenal action as we win! Three points! Hooray! Right before the international break. Alright, but yeah, let's, let's, not, let's not get ourselves upset right now. Still got to talk about the match. Arsenal wins 3-2 against Cardiff City. Yes! Let's get in, son. Let's talk about this match. Because initially I thought, oh god, here we go, Arsenal just possessing, possessing, nothing on the offensive end. And then what happens, 11th minute, Granit Xhaka with the set-piece corner, delivers that shit to the head of fucking Mustafi, 1-0 to Arsenal. My goodness, I didn't think we could have things so good so early. And I was right, because in the 45th minute with 2 minutes extra, Arsenal forgets how to defend. Arsenal kind of forgets how to play football in the defensive end. And so what ends up happening is just... It's really a LOL moment, right? I mean, you're looking at that defense and thinking, Oh my god, guys, you have not been able to fucking keep a clean sheet in a while. Can, can you do something? Can you do fucking something? No. They concede a goal to goddamn Kamara. Not even saying that. I don't even know if I'm saying that goddamn name right. Right, and he gets a goal in there, one all before, you know, the second, you know, before the end of the first half. And already I felt, oh boy, we cannot just get a point in this in this match. We, it's just damn near impossible. You, you just can't go to Cardiff, a new, newly promoted team to the Premier League, and just run away with just a point. Come on, you can't do that. And so Arsenal, at least, you know, came out looking like they wanted to, do a little bit of business there. And then in the 62nd minute, despite all you motherfuckers talking shit about this guy, Ozil was the guy who started this chain of events for the goal. From Ozil to Lacazette to Aubameyang. Who, by the way, Aubameyang scores a fucking beauty of a goal from outside of the box and makes a 2-1 to the Arsenal. And we're just sitting here thinking, Aubameyang has scored his first goal. And I, I'm, I'm of the belief that Aubameyang can definitely score 25 goals this season for the Premier League. No doubt in my mind. 25 goals, I think, easily for Aubameyang. So, hey, one out of 25. You just got your, your 4% in, 96% more to go. Aubameyang, you got to respect that. And unfortunately, the defense can't respect the fact that we got a goal because... We concede another goal eight minutes later. I guess defense just, I mean, from Mustafi, Monreal, I mean, Bellerin is a defensive liability, and oftentimes Petr Cech. Petr Cech has become a leaning crutch for the Lino experiment, I guess. I, I guess that's the best way you can call it. So, my understanding and my opinion is this. I think the Arsenal administrators, the fucking whoever the fuck, wants to keep Lino, you know, safe haven until the proper moment. Well, let me tell you something, motherfucker. When you win, when you lose two fucking opening matches in a row, something you haven't done since 1992, maybe, just Fucking maybe it's time to change your fucking goalkeepers. And add to the fact that Petr Cech was fucking leaking goals the last four matches. Okay, so what was that? Two against City, three. So it was two against City, three against Chelsea. That 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 adds up to five, by the way. One against West Ham, so that's six. And two today, seven. Seven goals conceded in four fucking matches. Okay. And I get it, man. I'm, I know, I know, I'm gonna get flack for guys that are saying, "Oh, you know, it's not all the goalkeepers' fault." Listen, I'm blaming the defenders too, but you can only point the fucking fingers at the defenders for so goddamn long. Then you gotta take a look at Petr Cech. What the fuck he's actually doing on that production field? Not a whole lot. Not a whole fucking lot. And you know what? At least, at least, at least our offense was clicking today. At least our offense knew what the fuck was up today because Torreira gets subbed on. Uh, I believe in the 75th or 76th minute. And in the 81st minute of the match, Torreira to Lacazette, and Lacazette from a fucking very cute, acute angle, nets that in from the right-hand side, smashes that in. 
three two to Arsenal and Aubameyang and Lacazette, the two cats who are going to be pivotal for Arsenal's offense moving forward. They provide the they provide the answers. They provide the goals, and we run away from Cardiff with three points. So. Obviously, I have, I have a couple of things to say about this match. Um, you know, Guendouzi starts, gets a yellow card. I think Guendouzi is still one of our best midfielders. Um, one, one of the best ones out there. I, I put him in the starting 11. And, you know, Xhaka, as good as he can be, he can be a bit temperamental. He can absolutely get a little dogged uh, when things don't go his way. And you, you, we've seen it time throughout. And I, I'm, I'm of the belief, I'm of a strong belief that, you know what, man? Why not start the torreira Guendozi tandem in the midfield? Have Ozil up top where he can just do his thing. And you know what? Ramsey on the right wasn't that bad today. Ramsey has those moments, right, in the midfield where he can go a little ape. And that's where a lot of those injuries come from. Just those excessive fucking leg movements, right? And, and, and the, all guessing, by the way. And the, the thing is, you know, I like Ramsey on the right-hand side, but it's that versatility we can have with him. Between him, it will be, and, um, good lord, I'm spacing on the name, Mkhitaryan. But for me, the three pieces you need to have running at all times, Lacazette, Aubameyang, Ozil. Those three cats, if you just put those three cats on the pitch, you're going to be all right. That's my belief. And, you know, every every time we see those two on pitch, there's more offensive pressure for the defense to handle. So easier mistakes, easier to easier mistakes to capitalize on. So I really hope Arsenal takes this lesson. You know, go to the international break because god damn it, seriously, international break. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, not gonna be kind of, I'm not gonna be covering international matches. Like, why the fuck would I be doing that? Like, good lord. But Hey, Arsenal gets away with three points. We're going to be back in on the 15th, I believe, uh, for a match against... Ooh! I can't recall. But we're going to be back for that match. And we're at the pub today at McMullen. Shout out to McMullen's pub. Fucking amazing place. Going to be at the pub again that time. So, good shit. Three points. Arsenal wins. Hooray! You guys like that shit? Follow me at the Sky Lounge. Follow all the links in the description below and all that shit. Comment, subscribe for more daily content. Now fuck off.